I love what I do. I love my job. Like, I really love my job, you know what I'm saying? And to where it's a blessing to be able to put these cleats on and be able to, you know, play football. You know, something I was doing as a kid, going out to the field, redoing, you know, reenacting Devin Hester, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's just me, you know? Like, I really love what I do. And when I, every chance I get out there, you know, I'm gonna let it be known. <laughs> Right here, dog. I'm right here, dog. And that's on the field right there, dog. Something right there, right there, dog. How do you describe yourself as a player? Different. Why? Just am. I mean, just from. It's not just now. Since I was a kid. I mean, I've always just been like the one that always was just. If everyone went right, I went left. <laughs> Everyone, you know, you know, say everybody pick one thing. I look at the the other option just to see it. And um, honestly, I get that from both of my parents, my mom and my dad. You know, they both have their type of personalities that to where, you know, they're different. And um, I, I know for sure that rubbed off on me. Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got to go back to Denver. Vic Fangio kind of unlocked you a little bit. Don't you agree? Like, you, you re- that I was, was a little more comfortable in the yeah, system, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and why was that? I mean, you're a guy that's known as, you know, you can rush the passer certainly, but from every spot on the line. But what, what did Vic unlock in you? Vic is a defensive mastermind. When he came over from you guys, I hit up Eddie Goldman, like, yo, tell me about some guys. And he just had nothing but good things to say. So, I mean, just having someone that, you know, that loves ball, the same way how I love my job and love ball, you know, um, having someone that just, you know, have no mercy on the offense, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when me and, me and the coach are on the same page, I mean, that's just, we just turn into fruition. Yeah, you got the juice. Pressure and down he goes. Sack for Demarcus Walker. You can feel you when you're on tape. You can feel you when you're on, on the field. And I think, I think on defense in particular, and I brought this up with other guys, a loud defense is ultimately going to be a good defense. I believe it. You know, I, I think of every every team that does one Super Bowl every year had a defense and had an alpha that to where they got the guys going. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! We good? Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Hey, that's what we want right here. You want to mentor kids, right? Why? After it's all said and done, I would love to, you know, um, coach junior high, middle school. I think middle school is the pivotal age that to where if you get a good head start, if you plant a good seed in those kids from the jump, then to where, you know, no matter what situation, because they're going to uh, face some type of adversity growing up, you know, from their teens, their 20s, 30s, 40s, you're going to face that. So if you have those good hard lessons in the beginning, I believe those kids would definitely, you know, have a better advantage.